Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about Blue Demon's E316 electrode, some safety concerns, and then have a short demonstration of the product. The AWS classification for this filler metal is E316 slash 316L-16. One of the first questions you may have about this product, what do the letters and numbers mean? Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. In our case, the classification is E, which stands for electrode. Other classifications could include ER for electrode or rod, R for rod, or B for brazing, just to name a few. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. An example of this would be the TIG welding process. Next, we take the first three numbers, which in our case is 316. This designates the American iron and steel type of stainless steel used in the electrode. Next, you'll notice the slash, then 316L. This simply means the electrode can work as E316 or as E316L, where the L stands for low carbon. Finally, the 16 on the end is used to indicate this electrode has a titania type coating and it can use AC or DC polarity. 316 stainless steels are used in high temperature weldments where high strength with minimal deformation are critical requirements. E316 is used in a wide array of applications. Some of the common uses are welding tubing, chemical equipment, filters, tanks, and furnace parts. This electrode can weld in the flat, vertical, overhead, and horizontal position. It comes in sizes 332nd, 1/8th, 532nd, and 316th. It utilizes DC electrode positive or AC welding polarity. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instruction on using E316 stainless welding electrodes. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket or long sleeve shirt. I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads. Thanks for hanging in there. So if you've made it this far, let me explain what our demonstration is going to be. I've got a couple of E316 electrodes and a couple of stainless plates. I'm going to get these cleaned up and uh, I'm going to pad a few beads on one of them and show you that and then we're going to set up a lap joint and run both sides of the lap joint and that'll be our demonstration. So let's let me get my gear on, get some plates cleaned up and we'll get to it.
So here is our second bead. I think I was happier with the first bead. Um, the first bead on the other side pulled the two plates apart ever so slightly, which gave a little more gap. So I have quite a bit of underfill and a little bit of undercut just about all the way down this. I should have, have dwelled just a little bit longer, took it just a little bit slower, and filled this up just a little bit more. But um, with practice, a little bit more practice, it'd be a lot better off. But uh, I love this color. I absolutely love the color. But it needs to be right. You gotta have feel and no undercut. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.